Not all of the information that I'm looking for during the footprinting is technical information. I am also looking for other kind of information. For example, emails. Emails is a very valuable information during the footprinting. So if my target was easycouncil.org, if I'm able to get some employee in Easy Council emails, definitely this would be useful in social engineering and in other attacks as well. So how can I search for emails related to a specific organization? I can do that in Google, but it will take time. So I can go to Google and type here the organization e at easycouncil.org and I can start searching. But actually, this will not be very effective. It will take time because you have to check until you'll be able to get any email associated with Easy Council. So it's not an easy process to do. But we have some tools that is searching online for any email associated with this specific domain. So let me show you one of the tools that we are using it frequently. It's a very, very powerful tool. And it will go online and it will search for any email associated to this domain. The tools is a Kali Linux tool. So let's start using Kali Linux. We did explain on a previous section some brief about Linux in general, but you, even if you are new to, to Linux, I will guide you step by step and you don't have to worry about Linux. Linux is a very easy to use platform. So let me open my Kali Linux virtual machine and let me log in. And let me show you uh, how to uh, use the email harvest tool in Kali Linux. Email harvest tool is a Metasploit tools. So we need to launch Metasploit, which is a exploit framework. It's a small program inside Kali Linux, and it has many function. It can scan the system, it can collect the email, it can hack the system, it's very powerful. We're gonna use these tools during this course in many occasions. So I'm gonna open a terminal here and let me just uh, change the size so it will be clear what I'm writing exactly. So I can go to view and uh, zoom in, then zoom in one more time. And then we need to launch the Metasploit first, which is the framework. And from the Metasploit, we're gonna need to run the email harvest tool. So I'm gonna type MSF console, this is how to launch the Metasploit. Another way for doing that is just to click on the Metasploit icon on the left of the screen. But since you are new to Linux, I want you to get used to the command line because it's more powerful. So whenever you have a, ch a chance to use command line or graphical, I suggest that you use the command line because you're going to find that after a while more useful for you. So it may take a few seconds or a couple of minutes until it loads all the content of the Metasploit. So let's wait until it finish and see how to launch the program. So the Metasploit has launched. And now let's see how to run a specific tool from Metasploit. Now, it's not about just the specific tools that we're gonna use right now. But in general, this is how to run, uh, to run any uh, uh, tool from Metasploit. So you need to start by typing use, and then you type the name and the path of the functions and you need, you need to start. In my case, the function name is gather slash search underscore email underscore collector. Now, it's not like you have to memorize all the function to be able to write them. But during the training, during this course, I will show you the major one. And you just need to use those one because those are the main one in Metasploit. So you click on it and if the pass was right, it should change the prompt from MSF to the MSF and the name of the functions that I'm gonna use. Okay, so it seems that we wrote something wrong. Yes, this was a spelling mistake in search. And usually I don't, I, I don't like to remove the, the mistake while I'm writing, I just want to show you that Anyone can do mistakes, so it's not like a problem. <clears throat> it 
Okay, another spelling mistakes. I don't know what's wrong with me today. So, gather. Here we go. Excellent. So, the prompt has changed from MSF to the auxiliary, which is search email collector. collector. Now, when you are using any of this uh, or uh, this kind of uh, uh, auxiliary, usually some input need to be added here. I mean, if I use these tools, I need to tell him what kind of email I'm looking for or, or uh, which domain emails I'm looking for. So I need to specify the domains that he need to search for. So what I'm going to do, I will type show options. Now, by the way, do not forget that uh, Linux is case sensitive and accordingly all the comments that you are using should be small letters. If you are using capital letter, it will not be executed. Show options. And uh, 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 by typing show options, you can see that he will show you all the options needed to be able to run this auxiliary. So some of the options are empty, like uh, domain, it's empty and it's required. While output, if you need to save the output in a file, it's empty, but it's not required. You can only have the output on the screen or you can save it in a file. So those are the two values that I'm going to add. While the remaining options are already set, so I don't need to do anything. So how can I put here a domain, which is easycouncil.com? You just do that by typing set domain. And since domain is capital, you have to write it capital. Domain and you put the domain name. In our case, it will be easy council.org here you go and you can see that domain has changed and what about would you like to save the output in a file so later on you can you can check it yes this would be a good idea but it's not an it's not mandatory but i prefer to do that so set output to for instance i'm going to name that easy council dot txt so whatever output from the, the search please save it to easycouncil.txt and now i can double check the option i can see if i missed anything or not so show options you can see now that the domain has changed to easycouncil.org and the output of this command will be saved in easycouncil.org now not necessarily that you have to put the same name you can write any name you want in the name of the file now to launch the auxiliary you just need to type exploit so now I want you to launch this specific function and see what result you will be getting. Now we consider that Easy Council, it's the, the company who provides the SQL hacking training. So definitely they are a secure country, but you're going to say a secure, a secure company. But you're going to see the amount of email that is available online for the employee who's working on Easy Council. And this is, can be badly misused. And we're going to give you some example, not on easy counsel, because we don't know, want to do anything illegal. But we're going to see how when you're getting people email, organization email, business email, how that can be uh, misused. So it will take a few seconds until he gathers all the information that he get. And here you go. See how many email I was able to capture that is related to easy counsel. Now, 100% that some of those email I can misuse because not all of people working on Easy Council are technical people. Some of them are working in finance, marketing, PR, and I can send them malicious email. I can, but for sure do not do that. I'm just giving you a proof of concept. But this is the email that I was able to gather. And not just like that, also those email has been saved, uh, saved in my home folder under the name of Easy Council. So if you open Easy Council, uh, your home folder, and you will find that all the email has been saved in this file. So this is how to collect email related to a specific organization and uh, using one of the uh, auxiliary in Metasploit. And I wanted to get you familiar with Linux, Kali Linux in general and Metasploit especially during the start of this course because frequently we're going to use the uh, Kali Linux in different tools, so start getting familiar with.